Hey guys, this is Naomi from Inspired Transformation. Today I want to talk to you about a nifty gadget that helps you with food cravings when you don't have any willpower. And you're probably wondering, holy hell, I didn't know this thing existed. I didn't either. Not until recently. It is called the kitchen sink. And it looks like this. I just got it in the mail today. And you put your craving foods in there. Or something else that you might be addicted to, like smoking, drugs, um, your cell phone, <laughs> uh, video games. And then you stick it in here. And then you turn this dial and it sets the time on there. If you can see it, it sets it. Let me turn it there. Yeah, there you go. You can see it moving. And then it locks it in place. It locks the lid in and there's no tampering it. It, um, once you push down on the button, there's no way to get in unless you take a sledgehammer to it, probably. The batteries are in there, so you can't remove the batteries to deactivate it to get your goodies out. So I want to show you what would fit in this, because I've seen a lot of complaints that it's only one size. They, some people want a smaller size, while most people want a bigger size. But I'll show you what will fit in it. So... We've got some trail mix. It's a pretty big baggie. Uh, we've got some mixed nuts, or I guess this is trail mix also. Okay. And then more trail mix. As you can see, I'm not going to fill mine up with Oreos like most people because I don't keep those in my house. I don't uh, believe in chemical foods. You know, being a health coach and all, I try to stay away from that. It's against my food values. But I do enjoy dried fruit and nuts, and unfortunately, I tend to go overboard. You know, I'm human. I, I have those cravings too, so I need to be able to ration those out to myself. And the only way to do that is probably with this. So I got some dried cranberries. Those usually go in my salads. I've got, let's see here, I've got a bunch of bars from, I got Lara bars, I've got Kind bars. Stick those all in there. Okay, I still have some room. Still have a little bit of room. This is what it looks like right now. I have a chocolate bar left over from Christmas. I'll stick that down in there, see if that'll fit. And then I have these, I don't even know, these little gluten-free cookie snacks. They didn't even taste that good. I don't know why I put them in there because they're not cravings. I could probably throw those in the trash. Anyways. All right, so I put the lid on. It's all full. All right, now I'm going to set the time. It's set at four minutes right now. And I think I want this like locked up until at least Sunday when I need to get some um, cranberries out of there. So we'll move this around. Okay, well, it's at 19 hours. Okay, it's at one day. It takes a while to probably get up to 10 days on this thing. You don't be spinning this wheel forever. Oh wait, it says four days. Oh, back up, back up. Okay. Three days. I'm looking at more like two days. We'll go with like a day and a half. Okay. I locked it, it's counting down. Did you hear that? It locked. I've got one day, nine hours, 41 minutes. All right, and I can prove it to you. I mean, this thing is not coming open. See, look at that. I thought it was going to open. <gasps> look. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it wasn't sealed all the way, but it's still not coming back open. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it alone. And that's what most people do. That's why this works for some people. When the temptation's removed and you know you can't get to it, uh, you tend to just kind of leave it alone. And this is a good uh, behavior training program. Of course, there's some people that are going to get in their car and go to the grocery store, especially if it's like right next door to where they live. So, you know, that happens. But if you didn't plan on leaving the house and you, you know, 
have a bunch of food that you want locked up because, you know, maybe you want to keep it away from your kids. Maybe you want to keep it away from your spouse, your roommate, yourself. It's probably a good gadget for you. So, you know, tell me what you think about it. What would you put in there? I'd love to know. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.